from San Diego, California. This interactive multinational teleconference is reaching you live in English and Spanish through a unique and complex international telecommunications network via satellite, microwave, and cable. This program brings together distinguished institutions representing education, business, and government in more than a dozen countries in the Americas and Europe. We look forward to hearing from you. During this video conference, we will examine the concept of ETK excellence, the key competencies required for effective managing in the new economy. This is the 12th international training video conference of the year 2002 series entitled Excellence with a Global Flair. I'm Richard Page of The Page Firm, a law firm specializing in international business litigation, arbitration, and mediation, and I will be your mediator for today's program. The information revolution, the reductions of trade barriers, and the growing migration have caused a significant shift in how education, business, and government operate. The paradigm that has emerged is what has been called the new, e in what has been called the new economy. Although it is fast-paced and dispassionate, it is also full of promise for those who understand its challenges for performance and customer satisfaction. During this program, we will review the competencies that managers and directors need to be successful in the new economy. As many organizations have discovered, a number of the skills and strategies that were needed in the past to advance total quality and continuous movement are once again essential for productive success and international competitiveness. These include how decisions are made, how work is evaluated, and how communication is conducted in the workplace. During our program today, we will review these issues and propose a checklist for, to self-assess your international managerial competence. We are very fortunate to have with us once again Jerry Finnegan, and uh, now an international business consultant and instructor, retired after 33 years with Xerox Corporation. He held numerous assignments in human resources and organization development with the company, both in Los Angeles and in Rochester, New York. Most recently, he was human resources manager and quality manager for corporate research and technology. His current focus is on customer relationship management, emotional intelligence, knowledge management, benchmarking, and total quality management. Mr. Finnegan is a frequent speaker at UCLA and has presented to business and government groups at all levels, from top management to work teams here in the United States, as well as in Latin America and Europe. He is affiliated with the American Society of Training and Development and the National Alliance of Business. He is past chairman of the California Business Consortium for Management and Education and was a member of the state committee that wrote California's strategic plan for educational options in the 21st century, Roads to the Future. He was also a committee member of the U.S. Department of Education and a member of the team who that drafted California's adult education strategy. Mr. Finnegan co-authored the book, The Race Without a Finish, Without a Finish Line, America's Quest for Total Quality, and TQ Manager, a practical guide to managing in a total quality organization. He is also author of The Manager's Guide to Benchmarking, all published by Josie Bass, a Wiley & Sons company. His new book, soon to be released, is entitled The Formula for Success, and he is currently working to complete the new manager's handbook, The Necessary Skills of First-Line Managers. Jerry, welcome back, and thanks for being with us today. I'd like to ask you a question. It appears to me 
that digital technology drives increased communication that in turn drives the new economy, providing us with new and enhanced client services capabilities, more automation, and higher productivity. Yet the companies that succeed in the economy, in the new economy as we call it, are not necessarily those that are on the forefront of digital innovation, but rather those that take a more measured wait and see approach before implementing new technologies. And they keep the focus on other competencies within their organization, not necessarily technology. What are these other key competencies or strengths? Well, Richard, in this highly competitive, fast-changing environment, the organizations that are succeeding are not those who necessarily digitize their world, but they're the people who are learning to optimize their assets. Uh, they're, they're learning to get the most out of their people, the most out of their processes, to use the technologies that will uh, help them achieve their objectives, and they're learning how to capture the knowledge of their successes and sharing it within their organizations. And we'll talk a little bit more about the specific competencies managers can use to make those things happen.